There are many talented actors in Hollywood who have had amazingly successful careers, but even the biggest stars eventually fade out of the spotlight. This video will look at 20 actors who were once hugely popular, but are now shunned by casting directors and unable to find work. Cameron Diaz was one of the highest paid comedic actresses of the 90s and 2000s due to starring in blockbuster hits like There's Something About Mary and Charlie's Angels. After several poorly received films in the late 2000s diminished her box office clout, she stepped away from acting altogether in her 40s, not interested in the role as Hollywood had left to offer her. Despite fans' nostalgia for her unique humor and charm, she showed no signs of returning to acting. Wesley Snipes was one of Hollywood's most prolific black leading men in the 1990s, with major hits like New Jack City, White Men Can't Jump, Passenger 57, and the Blade Trilogy. But his career was derailed in the mid-2000s when he served a three-year prison sentence for tax evasion issues with the IRS. Since being released, he has only found direct-to-video work and bit parts in shows as major studios and insurers remain wary of past troubles despite attempts at comebacks. Now nearly 60 years old, he continues working, but is unlikely to ever regain his stature as a marquee headline star able to carry studio action films like he did in his prime. Jane Fonda was one of the biggest stars in Hollywood in the 1960s and 1970s with two Academy Awards and classic films like Clute, Coming Home, and Nine to Five, cementing her fame for both acting and political activism. As she entered her 40s, she stepped back from acting for nearly 15 years to focus on her personal life and fitness empire before returning in 2005 for a late career renaissance in films like Monster in Law and TV's Grace and Frankie. Now 85, while still working, the bulk of Fonda's Hollywood career peaked long ago, and opportunities are limited due to her age and interests in other pursuits besides acting. Nicolas Cage was once considered one of the most intense and unpredictable actors of his generation, with Oscar-winning roles in 1995's Leaving Las Vegas and big action hits like The Rock, Face Off, and National Treasure, establishing his fame. In the late 2000s, his profligate spending and IRS debts forced him to take many low-quality B-movies for easy paychecks, which cheapened his box office appeal and critical reputation. Though only 59, his movie star cachet has significantly declined and options remain limited to direct to vaude fare. So major Hollywood comeback vehicles look unlikely barring unexpected indie career rehabilitation. Katherine Heigl was one of Hollywood's most popular young leading ladies in the mid-2000s, with hits like Knocked Up and Grey's Anatomy, but criticizing the projects that made her famous earned her a reputation for being difficult and ungrateful. She has since failed to re-establish herself as a bankable film star, with most of her recent movies going straight to video, and her public persona still suffers from seeming entitled. At age 44, she continues working in smaller films and TV productions. But major studios are reluctant to take a chance on her given past issues. Steven Seagal was a major action star in the late 1980s and early 1990s with films like Under Siege, but multiple accusations of sexual assault, harassment allegations, and noted on-set difficulties have made him unemployable in Hollywood among all but the lowest budget productions now. Even though he is currently in his late 60s, Siegel continues to churn out straight-to-video B-movies tailored to his over-the-top persona, likely the only acting work available to him going forward given his toxic reputation in the industry. Barring a complete public image rehabilitation, his days as a prominent box office draw or actor in real Hollywood films look to be over. Megan Fox was a rising star after her breakout role in Transformers, but comparing director Michael Bay to Hitler angered executive producer Steven Spielberg, who demanded she be fired from the sequel. 
Unable to regain her momentum, she had some modest success in comedies like Jennifer's Body and New Girl, but did not re-establish herself as a leading lady, and now at age 36, focuses on smaller horror films and supporting TV roles. Her outspokenness and conflicts from earlier in her career seem to have made big studios hesitant to cast her in major projects again. Macaulay Culkin was one of the most successful child actors ever as the star of the first two Home Alone blockbusters. But his career fizzled fast as an adolescent unable to find roles that connected with audiences like his kid-friendly comedies had. Retreating from fame as he came of age, he became best known afterwards for his eccentric persona and friendship with Michael Jackson rather than acting. Now in his early 40s, Culkin works very sporadically, mostly in offbeat indie films, suggesting no comeback but rather a niche career cultivation on his own odd terms. Monique's supporting performance in Precious won her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress in 2010, but her demands for inflated compensation and refusal to campaign for the film earned her a reputation for being difficult and entitled in Hollywood. Since her Oscar win, she has made few on-screen appearances, and her bridges seem burnt by the industry, with no major roles offered to her. In over a decade now, despite public lie, questioning if she's been blackbullied. At 55 years old, she continues performing stand-up comedy but likely won't act in any high-profile films or shows unless she reconciles with movie executives and producers. John Travolta was one of the biggest stars of the 1970s and had a career revival in the 1990s with films like Pulp Fiction, but sexual assault lawsuits and massages and sexual battery allegations have greatly diminished his reputation. Though acquitted of charges, the claims have made many producers unwilling to work with him, and box office failures of recent Travolta films suggest a lack of public interest in him now as well. At 68 and with declining clout, the days of Travolta starring in anything beyond direct-to-video, B-movies look to have pass it. Shannon Doherty was a sought-after teen actress in the 90s for her roles in Heathers and Beverly Hills 90210, but rumors of on-set tantrums and difficult behavior damaged her reputation and led to her abrupt departure from 90210 and later from Charmed. Though still acting, the 50-year-old largely works on small, independent films and TV movies now, as her famous clashes with co-stars and producers early on seem to have made mainstream Hollywood unlikely to offer her major projects again. Taylor Lautner became an overnight teen idol sensation for his role as Jacob in the Twilight film series, but he failed to parlay that popularity into post-saga leading man success, despite Hollywood's attempts to make him a major action star. Subsequent starring vehicles like Abduction and Run the Tide went largely unnoticed, proving his fan base was tied more to Twilight itself than him personally, and studios no longer viewed him as having strong box office draw as an individual. Now 30 years old, he continues acting in smaller productions, but the chance to become an A-list headliner the industry once forecast seems to have passed for Lautner. Jennifer Grey became America's sweetheart after her iconic performance as Baby in the 1980s. Classic dirty dancing propelled her to fame, but after a 1989 car accident and nose job left her unrecognizable, she struggled to regain her stardom without her original girl-next-door likeness and charm. Gray never again found a role as beloved as Baby to firmly re-establish herself, eventually shifting to minor film roles and TV guest appearances rather than leading parts. And now, at age 62, she likely won't headline major Hollywood projects any longer. Short of a nostalgic Dirty Dancing sequel, Gray's prospects look to remain mostly lower-profile ventures, capitalizing on her past glory rather than new breakthroughs. Edward Furlong achieved early critical acclaim as a child actor in films like Terminator 2, but struggled to transition to adult roles and battled substance abuse issues that stalled his career and resulted in multiple arrests for domestic violence. 
Except for minor supporting parts in direct-to-video productions, the 45-year-old Furlong has been essentially blacklisted in Hollywood due to his troubled past making him uninsurable and too risky to cast in major projects. Unless he turns his life around, his days as a significant film actor with real career potential seem well behind him. Cuba Gooding Jr. won an Oscar for his famous Show Me the Money role in Jerry Maguire and starred in successful films like A Few Good Men and Pearl Harbor in the 90s, but sexual misconduct allegations and public intoxication incidents made studios unwilling to work with him. He has since been relegated to straight-to-DVD releases and cameo appearances rather than the high-profile projects and leading roles of his prime. At 55, and with a damaged reputation, his prospects seem limited to minor direct-to-video work rather than any career resurgence back to his previous prominence. Jessica Biel reached her widest fame as one of Hollywood's hottest young starlets in the early 2000s with hits like The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Remake and Seventh Heaven, but critical and commercial film failures like Stealth and I Now Pronounce You. Chuck and Larry showed her limited box office power as a solo lead. In the 2010s, she pivoted to supporting film roles and producing while having some TV success, but at age 41, her chances at major feature film stardom seem to have passed. Unless she develops a hot new streaming series or awards bait indie, Bill likely won't headline high-profile big-screen projects again. Skeet Ulrich established himself as a rising star after acclaimed performances in 1990s hits like Scream and The Craft, but clashes with co-star Neve Campbell during Scream 2 helped earn him an industry reputation as difficult and unprofessional. Since then, despite fan affection for cult favorites like The Craft, Ulrich has never recaptured his early leading man momentum, reverting to lesser-known TV and indie horror roles. And at 53 years old, his window for major mainstream projects appears closed. Unless Neve Campbell offers him a pity cameo, if the oft-rumored Scream 6 eventually happens, Ulrich will likely remain confined to niche works, playing off his 1990s credibility rather than ever regaining significant Hollywood prominence again. Shia LaBeouf broke out as a young blockbuster star in the Transformers franchise but increasingly erratic behavior and performance art stunts, like wearing a paper bag over his head with I am not famous anymore, scratched into it made him unemployable and persona non grata in Hollywood. Despite his early 2000s success, LaBeouf has not appeared in mainstream studio films since 2014, relegated instead to small indie projects undeterred by his past unpredictability and bridges burned with Steven Spielberg and other former boosters. Now 36 and several years removed from rehab treatment, his future prospects seem dependent on proving reliability rather than fame-seeking eccentricity if he still desires a Hollywood acting career again. Sharon Stone's sexy femme fatale turn in 1992's Basic Instinct made her an icon but she struggled to find roles that effectively capitalized on her breakthrough with only a handful of hits like Casino amidst many box office flops dampening her star power over time. Now 64, while still acting consistently in supporting parts that play off her enduring glamour, Stone's prime as a bankable Hollywood leading lady able to carry major films has passed, and current roles trend more toward age-appropriate mature mother figures rather than the bombshell parts that first brought her fame. Aside from nostalgia appearances reminiscing about her most famous scenes, Stone is unlikely to headline notable projects again, unless an unexpected later career critically acclaimed performance earns awards attention. Mel Gibson was one of the biggest stars of the 1980s and 1990s with acting and directing credits on blockbuster hits like the Mad Max and Lethal Weapon franchises and Braveheart. But a series of racist, sexist rants captured on tape made him a pariah in Hollywood. Despite attempts at a comeback in recent years, the now 66-year-old Gibson remains largely persona non grata as both an actor and filmmaker, 
with studios unwilling to entrust franchise projects to him again. Unless Gibson can fundamentally rehabilitate his public image, his days as a power player in the Hollywood ecosystem appear over.